Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Kaur and in this video, I'm going to show you all how to make your Notion aesthetic. I have already made one video on this topic. The link for that video is going to be in the description box below. Feel free to check it out after watching this video. And this is how my Notion looks like right now. Moving on to the first step to make our Notion aesthetic. So we know that Notion has many color options for the text and for the background, but sometimes these color options are not enough and we want to have many more colors on our Notion page. So to have different colors on your Notion other than that, you need to have a different approach towards it. So we're going to use a formula method here. So we're going to type a formula here, which is slash color box, curly brackets open, then the color code, curly brackets closed, then the text that you want to type in my case it was I love notion then the slash again then we're gonna double tap on it to select the formula and then we're gonna convert it into a formula and that's it we are done and this color code that I am using in these formulas that you can get it from Google you can just use any color code it has worked with me at least I have gotten color codes from Google and all of them have worked wonderfully I'm just going to do it once more with different color codes, double tap, convert it into formula and you are done. This is how it looks in sky blue and all these other colors. So our next step is something which is similar to that. Just like I found the code to change the color backgrounds according to our own choice, I thought it would be so great if we had the option to do it to the text color as well, not just the background. So it took me time to crack the formula, but I did. So that's why I'm just screen recording it. The formula is slash text color, the color code, curly brackets open, your text and then curly brackets closed. And that's it. You are done. You just have to get the color codes from Google. I got these from Google's as well. So this is like beige color. And one more thing, if you want to have space between your text in the formula, because formulas automatically don't put spaces in the text. So what we have to do is we have to change the formula for that. We have to just put space slash space, then your word then space slash space, then again you would. So it's like I space slash space, then love, then space slash space, then notion, and then curly back, it's closed. And this is how it works. You will have spaces between your words without any problems. Now, in the beginning of this video, you guys must have seen the retro clock in beige color, which is a widget from a website called Widget Box. I will put the link for it in the description box below so you guys do not have any trouble finding it. When you go on the website, you will find various Notion widgets on it, the calendar widget, the clock widget, the aesthetic coats widget and they have different designs for the weather widget and the clock widgets one is the retro one one is the analog clock so you just have to sign up on it then you have to log in in your account some of the widgets are paid on this website but don't worry this retro clock one is free so you just have to get the retro clock widget from here you have to customize the colors which we're gonna do right now Just have to click on create. Then you will choose the background color. Once you tap on the color, you will see that there are different shades available for it. You can also go for the custom color if that's what you want, but I think they do have many colors available already. You won't need to really customize it on your own. So you just have to copy the link and then you have to go back on your notion. And then you have to paste the link and then you have to click on create embed and then you will have your widget right there on your Notion page. And so many people have asked me already like how to move things around in the Notion. It's actually quite easy. You just have to pick them up and drop them and you will see margins. And when you see them appearing, just drop them right there. This is something which I did with the clock as well. You will see the margins appearing on the right side and here you can see the margins appearing as well when we're moving the text.
Now moving on to our next widget which is from the same website called widget box. It's the code widget which is free as well. So here we can customize the background color, the icon color of the comma and then the text color. So I'm gonna go with this shade I guess and then I'm gonna go with the font called handwritten. We have three options here handwritten, mono and normal. The handwritten one looks the cutest i think and then we have the font size we can change it according to us and let's change the icon color as well i think we should change the background color as well wait so we're gonna go with No, I think we should go with something lighter. I think this is it. Besides that, we also have the option to have border around our widget. So first we're going to select the border color, which goes in contrast with the colors that we have already selected. And then we have to increase the border widget and there we have it. It looks nice. And then we can copy the URL here and then we can go on our notion paste the widget like this and then we just have to hit on the create embed and here we have the code widget from widget box And these codes keep changing in regular intervals so it's not like that the code will remain same throughout the whole time you are using it so just don't worry about that moving on to our next step which is picking a widget from a website called option and I'm going to put the link of this website in the description box as well and this website has many many widgets but I'm just going to pick two from all of these which are available but before that I'm just going to show you how many widgets this website actually has. So just like Giphy and then it has Pomodoro timer and then it has different clocks, it has Spotify, Twitter, YouTube video embedding, it, it has like everything basically like many widgets that I didn't even think that could be there in the first place. So I'm just gonna pick two widgets from here. The first one is called Aura Clock. Let's get back to that. So this widget is like a clock which has a pink aura behind it. Let me just show you how it works. So we just have to copy it from here and then we have to go back on our Notion. And then we have to embed it just like we embedded our other widgets create embed here we are done but before we start using this widget if you are using it on your device for the first time you have to put your name and your email id for some kind of verification i guess and once you do that your widget will start working fine let me just put all the information that is needed and here we have our widget and it looks nice it has like pink and purplish hue behind it it looks really nice but one thing that i saw people complaining about this widget is that it doesn't have any color options so if it doesn't go with the aesthetics of your notion then you won't be able to really use it and i think that if they had color options in it that'd be like really really nice or maybe if i missed out on having that option then let me just know in the comment box below Moving on to our next tip which is a widget called Pinterest and it is from the same website called Option. Now you won't be able to use this widget if you are using Notion on your phone or your iPad so you need to have a computer or a laptop for this. So that's why I'm screen recording it again. And for this you just need to go on any pin of yours on Pinterest and then you have to get pin embed code. So you just have to click on this three dot icon and then you have to click on get pin embed code and then you have to go for the small size if you want to have this widget in the small size and if you want to have it in the medium, large or extra size then you can just choose that as well. I'm gonna go for the small size and then I'm gonna copy it from there and then I'm gonna go back to the option 
and then I'm gonna just scroll down a bit and then I'm gonna just click on this URL which they have given on the option only and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna name my widget and after that I'm just gonna put my HTML code here and then I'm gonna decide what kind of background color I want with this like light or dark I'm gonna go with the light one and then I'm gonna like donate URL and now I'm gonna just copy this code from here and then I'm gonna go back to my notion and now I'm going to paste it as a regular widget create embed and now I have my favorite pin as a widget on my notion I can just crop down the margins so that it just doesn't look ugly and on the top right corner you might be able to see the branding called option now it's there because we are not using the premium version of this website i don't really need it because you know it's not needed like oh it's okay it's just a small text called option but if you guys feel the need to have the premium version of this website for widgets on your notion then you can go ahead with that but this one is like free you don't have to pay for it in this tip, I'm going to show you guys how to have these stripes of bear emojis. So you just have to go down and start typing as a regular text and go to the emoji option on your keyboard and then you have to start typing the bear emoji. And you just have to put one space between it as of now. If you want to keep it like that, you can keep it like that as well, but I want to have a much more cleaner look, so I'm just gonna increase the spaces between them in few seconds. And now we're gonna just add one more space between them and we'll just give a wide and clean look. And for people who must be thinking that why didn't I add two spaces in the first place well because if I do that then it will take one space as full stop just like it did right now so I don't want to have that so I just added one space initially and then I changed it back to two spaces so that's what I'm doing again and here we have our emoji stripe and you can just use any emoji you don't have to just use the bare emoji just keep that in mind and also you can just drag this emoji stripe to any place in your notion for example i'm just gonna hold it and drag it to the beginning of the notion page that's what i did to the emoji stripe that i created earlier so it's that easy super easy please keep that in mind that if you are using your notion on multiple devices the number of emojis that we have put in the stripe won't be enough for if you're using it on your macbook or if you're using it on your windows laptop because the screen on the windows or the macbook is much more wider than the ipad so you might need to increase the emojis there In this tip, I'm going to show you all how to create cute hyperlinks with emojis on Notion. So for example, if I want to create a hyperlink for my Instagram, so what I have to do here is I have to type my Instagram and then I'm going to put a cute emoji here. So I have to make it like that, that when I click on my Instagram, it takes me directly to my Instagram page. So for that, I just need to go on my web page and I have to go on my Instagram and copy my instagram profile link from here so i know i am not logged in in my browser right now but i know what is my instagram link so i'm just gonna type it here so that i can copy it from here so here is my instagram page my profile so i'm gonna copy the link from here and then i'm gonna go back to my notion and then I'm going to double click here and now I'm going to click on this link icon and then I'm gonna paste the link here and link to web page and then we are done now whenever I click on this my Instagram it will directly take me to my Instagram page isn't that amazing so it's that easy.
So now whenever I will click on this hyperlink called my Instagram, my Instagram page will open up and I will be able to access it right from the Notion page and I won't need to go anywhere else. Coming on to the last step of this video, I'm going to show you all how to have this cute text along with the emote icons on the left and right side of it and also how to have it in the color of your choice. So for that, we have this equation. We have the color code inside it, which we can get from Google. And then we have BF, huge and teams. So BF will stay like that. A huge means the size of text. We can change it back to small and medium. And then we have the text, which is called teams. We can get this emote icon from Google. This is the website. I'm going to link it in the description box below for your ease you can just copy the emote icon from here and paste it in your equation it's that easy and now i'm going to change the text in the equation from teams to my own name which is rebecca so you can just change the text to anything you want And now I'm going to double tap on the equation. When all of it is selected, I'm going to change it to equation and that's it. It's that easy. So guys, that was it for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which tip are you going to try first on your Notion and which tip was your favorite. I would love to see your answers in the comments box below and I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, bye!